Welcome back. Well, Uganda has for a long time relied on rain-fed agriculture. Or agriculture that by and large relies on nature's providence. Well, not anymore because issues like climate change are all changing the way we look at agriculture. So, we have a story of a farmer who has taken that at heart and is seeing dividends out of this. I'm Daniel Utaya. Uh, I'm a farmer. I grow coffee as well as other crops. We had to undergo various, uh, and various trainings with the new cafe with the uh, partnership with the ABI. So we are helped as farmers with the knowledge that we had before from our grandfathers. They added on to our, what we had. So we are introduced to this new technology of the uh, Brazilian soil, which is three by one, and then as well as irrigation. So this irrigation is helping us with, to cope with the climate changes. We have to accept that climate change is with us and it's no longer at a, a far distance. So we have to do irrigation because the coffee, seed, uh, the coffee plant has, is supposed to take 2.5 liters of water. So uh, with the, the changes in the climate, it's unable to take that amount of water. So we provide that water through irrigation. Okay, as a business, we have to, to be resilient. So uh, with the climate change, it would affect our production levels, the quantity of coffee produced. But we have resorted to irrigation in order to cope up with the changes. Okay, here in this kind of irrigation system, we have the drip method. So we have this small pipe, the black one, is done that, that uh, transports the water from the pond which is down there, then it brings onto the crop. Uh, when you reach where the crop is, there's a small hole that keeps on dropping the water. So it provides that water in small quantities and the, at the end of the day, it has already provided the required amounts of water to the plant. First and foremost, you need to have a source of water. Uh, you, can, you can dig a pond in the swamp and then you, you also need to have a tank. So you pump that water from the, from the pond onto the tank and then that, wa that water flows onto the crop using the gravitation force. So you need to get also these pipes and each meter is at 700, 700 shillings, Ugandan shillings. So you can look for uh, small amounts of money depending on the size of your garden and then you are able to get this uh, facilitation provided onto your garden. With the irrigation, we are already sure that in, in, in a season we are, we are supposed to produce a certain amount of coffee. So with irrigation, we know that we are able to beat that, that standard that we have set. But the, the other person who is not depending on irrigation is not sure of what, is, what will come out of his, his uh, garden for a season. So you might find that your coffee is already flowering, but you are caught up with the, with the, with the drought. So you might end up that you, are, you have got less than what you are supposed to get in a season. So we find that in this, this method, we're able to maximize the profits that we get from our plantations. And you can even see our crops, they are, they are looking to be healthy. It's because of the water that has been coming in from the irrigation system. As you have said, that farm, fa some farmers sell green coffee, that's what we also used to do before New Cafe came in with ABI. But when they came in, they taught us value addition. So we followed the, the coffee value chain. From the time of production, from flowering, planting, and then we go to green, green berries, we got the red berries, we got what we call chiboko, the dried ones, and then we go on to remove the husks, then we take for grading. So we take uh, FHU for grading, so at each step there's an increase in the prof profitability of the coffee. So we, that's how we, prof uh, we, we make our profits as farmers, so we follow the coffee value chain up to the end, and then we bulk with the new coffee. We, we as the farmers in this hub, we look at the, 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 the requirements of our buyers. So we look at the requirements of our buyers. So if the farmers need organic, we try our, at our level best to use organic. And then we also make sure that our coffee is looked at in, a, in the most appropriate way. In, in the harvesting, we have to make sure that we only, we only harvest the red ones, those ones which are already ripe, and then the way how we handle them, that is post-harvest handling. So the drying, uh, we make sure that we don't dry from the ground. We either dry from a raised bed or from a tapering. And then we also make sure that uh, the people who are working in our, in our coffee are also trained on how to handle the coffee. So we make it a family business. The children, the mothers, as well as the husbands, they are part of the, this business. And they know the, profit, the profitability of this business.